This review will take a quick look at of a pro bout of uh, heavyweight Dickie Ryan. He fought out of Omaha, Nebraska. And this bout took place in 1991. And he was uh, never rated in the top 10, but it was just outside of the top 10 during his career. And he did capture some regional titles. Let me get this on the screen here. One moment, please. Um, he's from Omaha, Nebraska. His professional record won 25 victories, 21 by KO, only one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, Dickie Boraya! And his long coming out of the blue corner. Also wearing the black trunks, then weighing 222 and one half pounds from Las Vegas, Nevada. An outstanding professional record, seven KOs and 17 victories, eight defeats and two draws up there for Sean Kidd Ayer! <laughs> Waiting for the arrival of Sean Kidd Ayers, not aptly named, not anymore, he's a strong looking guy, I'll tell you what, we talked about the other guys not being on the bodybuilding show, but here's a guy who could be, with a legs on him, he get a shot of those legs that he know and we are waiting for a Go. second in the corner of Sean Go. Ayers, and that's the reason for the delay. It's still in the middle of the whole range. Let's go. Now, it's interesting. This goes to show you that having a great build doesn't make you a great fighter. Uh, Sean Ayers has only seven knockouts in his 17 wins. You would think just looking at him, this one guy is going to get you out of it. You think that he got knocked down on a wall. He might command to pick himself all time. Let's close now. Let's get to it. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
kind of what Hollywood thing spots is supposed to look like, isn't he? That's what it is. Everybody, of course, has an image of Sylvester Stallone as being this tremendous big guy. And of course, if he were a fighter, he'd be a middleweight. He's a middleweight, he's right. First round, an interesting first round, probably the most interesting round of boxing we've had. I won't go as far as saying good, but interesting. Probably the most evenly fought first round we've had so far. snuck in and that certainly hurt Dickie Ryan. That's probably the punch that started the blood flow. You see it again, set it up with a short left hook on the inside, and boom. And one of the things that Dickie Ryan is not doing, and they're telling him in the corner, he's not jabbing, he's allowing Sean Harris to get in close. Now he turns the tables a little bit, Dickie Ryan does with his short left hook. Second round, let's see if Dickie Ryan listens to the advice of T.C. Says, who has been around the track more than once. Well, if there's anywhere that Sean Ayers looks like he's dangerous, it's in the fall, because he's a muscular guy, he's a short punch from him, although that's a shopping right, but Dickie Ryan seems to hurt Ayers a bit. Ayers looks like he's dangerous walking around the casino. I saw him in the casino today. Got that bet on him in the fourth of Van Hedder. up at all, Barry. Just trying to walk in and land his punches. No jabbing. Contrary to the advice of the corner, leading with his left hook, which is what he Susan specifically told him not to do. And you know, it seems that we're seeing more and more of that in the heavyweight division. That's just fully depend on power. And that was a good uppercut with the right hand by Ryan. But the jab is just not a prevalent weapon in the heavyweight boxing. And right now, Ryan's starting to exert himself here. Sean Harris looks very tired. Right there. It's a good point. A lot of heavyweights now think that they can all walk out there and be Mike Tyson or George Foreman. You really can't. You know, there are very few men in any weight class who can knock somebody out with one shot. And even George Foreman. He's got a pretty good jab. Excellent jab. We saw it Monday night. Where's the Ruddick who has an excellent jab? He can hardly at all against Tyson. And of course, for all these fighters who idolized Muhammad Ali, he made a career out of the jab. Right. Backwards by Sean Ayers. Yeah, I think Ayers is in a bit of trouble. In fact, I think he's in more than a bit of trouble. He's in a heap of trouble. And it's still a way to go. And down goes Ayers for my huge shot. Look at the Six, seven, eight. I don't believe he's going to get nine. up. That's it. Well, he was looking to load up, and he did. That must have been one heck of a body shot. And I'll tell you, because this guy has got armor on that belly of his. He went down like he was shot. This would have been one of those shots right in the solar plexus, and I mean it literally takes your breath. Especially if you're tired, and Sean Ayers is getting to breath. And that's the knockout by Dickie Ryan, and um, that's a rather impressive performance by Dickie Ryan. And the video's not too good, but it's just the best I could come up with. And uh, let me get a final screen on here, and that'll do it.